If we look around the world today, we are surrounded by conflicts. We've got the Ukraine-Russia war. We're wondering if communism is going to take over America. However, in this video, we're dealing with a much different sort of conflict. JavaScript versus TypeScript. However, we are going to settle this conflict right here and right now. We'll highlight the history of both languages, the benefits of both languages, and which one you should choose. So JavaScript was founded in 1995 by Brendan Eich. And the main reason it was created was to make sites more functional because at the time, we only had HTML and CSS on those heavy formed languages like Java and C. And where the big difference between JavaScript and TypeScript lies is that JavaScript is dynamically typed. If I could type that correctly. What this means is that any sort of variable type checking occurs after the program is run. So a good example would be this function right here where we get the user's age and name. In a regular JavaScript function, the error will not show up until after this is run in the browser. And the error that will come up is age missing. So the main process looks like this. So we first code up the actual program and then it is processed by the uh, interpreter and then it is run. Now where TypeScript comes in is that it was founded in 2010 by our overlords at Microsoft. And what they were running into was that they found that JavaScript was not really meant for bigger applications. So they decided to make a different version of JavaScript. And essentially, rather than being dynamically typed where the errors were checked after the program is run, it would be statically typed instead. And as you can see in our TypeScript code, it is the exact same as JavaScript. However, you can see an error. And as you can see on the note here, it knows that the user has to have an age. And we do that by writing an interface. And that is exactly what a typed language is. We make sure to check that each user, as you can see here, the each user has a name, string and an age a number so that way which is the biggest difference it catches the error before running the code so just remember that javascript catches the type errors after running while typescript catches the errors before running so now let's get into the actual like meat and potatoes of this video which is better and honestly guys i'm gonna be this type of person but it depends i said earlier javascript is meant for smaller applications it wasn't meant to be for bigger applications when it came out and in my opinion it's still not good for these bigger applications however on the other hand i don't think typescript is that good for smaller applications because you're putting in all this extra effort by making the interfaces and adding these types when you don't really need those statically typed things so what i recommend you do is rather than taking the aggressive approach where you have to pick one over the other use both in smaller applications use javascript it's still an amazing language to this day and i use it all the time however when you are using bigger applications use typescript it is where it truly shines because it helps you solve those errors before you run the code i can't explain how many hours i've spent debugging javascript code in bigger applications and i wish i just used typescript on the other hand if you are making a bigger application where you plan to use it for months and you're planning to sell it go with TypeScript. It truly shines when you are using bigger applications because it catches errors, it keeps everything organized, and it makes the process of coding and debugging that much easier. And a great example would be the application that I'm working on right now. As you can see, we're using interface for our TypeScript files, where I require this file to have initial data that's coming from a database, as well as an ID. And as you can see, the guide ID is over here and the initial data is over here. And that way, when we call this component in another page, we have to include it. So right here, guide, guide ID, and we did this for a bunch more components. And by the way, TypeScript isn't really a language. It's basically JavaScript, but with the static typing. They're the exact same thing, but TypeScript has a little bit more features. And why I don't say it's a language is because when TypeScript is run, it is turned into JavaScript. However, the choice is yours, but I just highly recommend you go with JavaScript for the smaller apps and for the bigger applications to save yourself a ton of time. I would go with TypeScript. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.